Between 1820 and 1880, there were 13 medical schools, all in need of bodies to dissect. Grave robbers had plenty of time to perfect their technique. They dug down at the head of the casket, a shaft about three feet in diameter, and they would have to go down four, maybe four feet, something like that, to get to the coffin. And then they literally used a crowbar or a pry bar to just crack the end of the coffin open. Then to get the body out, they would have typically had an iron bar maybe four or five feet long with a T-handle at one end and a hook at the other. And they literally would hook the body under the jaw and pierce the skin. And then they would literally just pull the body right up out of that shaft. And though their ghoulish practice was illegal and unethical, their despicable deeds helped build the foundations of modern medicine and pathology, a fact Michelle believes has to be acknowledged. A lot of what we learned anatomically in terms of the body structure, in terms of what would become clinical medicine, we really did learn by virtue of these early kinds of studies that used these, these illegally procured bodies. Even today, the study of dead bodies is essential to forensic science. At Texas State University, Michelle and her colleague Kate Spradley run an anthropological facility, AKA a body farm, where they study the effects of decomposition to aid criminal investigations. This individual was placed about four months ago. He's in a mummified state with some adipose ears starting to develop. The big difference is all these bodies are willingly donated. Most of our donors did not do it because they could not afford a burial. They wanted to do it as an alternative. They wanted to contribute to forensic science research. But in 1800 Cincinnati, where deceased loved ones didn't necessarily rest in peace, the public started to fight back against the grave robbers. In the early 19th century, a nightmare scenario for many Americans was that this body of a loved one would be unceremoniously dissected in some cold dissecting room like this one. Or even a later 19th century uh, amphitheater like the one we're in here. Medical colleges were not covering up the fact that they offered courses in practical anatomy or dissection. And sometimes they would even state right there in the catalog, ample material provided for dissection. They, they were definitely not hiding it. And the public was aware of this issue of body snatching because occasionally a case would be discovered and it would be in the newspapers and it would arouse, of course, great public indignation. 